Hi, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. Today's topic is about restoring a Polkadot account that has been created with the Polkadot browser extension. Remember that when restoring a Polkadot account, you need to have the seed phrase or the JSON backup file. In here, we are on the Polkadot.js user interface. We see that we have two accounts. One is my account here. This is an account that has been created on the Polkadot.js user interface using the Add Account button. If you want to know more information about how to remove an account that has been created using uh, the Polkadot.js user interface, please see the link below in the description. This other account here is an injected account and it has been created using the browser extension. We can see here the logo of the Polkadot browser extension. If we click it, we can see the account listed in the, in the extension. Using the browser extension is the recommended way of creating and generally dealing with Polkadot accounts. This is because if we delete the data of our browser, the account will still be visible in the Polkadot.js user interface. This is not the case for accounts that are created using directly the Polkadot.js user interface. Before diving into the demonstration, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and that you are interested in, drop us a message. We can now go to the Polkadot browser extension and forget this account that we created. So we forget the account. If we refresh the Polkadot.js user interface, we can see that the injected account is no more listed. The first way of recovering this account is to go to the Polkadot browser extension and select import account from pre-existing seed. Here we have to type the seed phrase that we initially wrote down on a piece of paper when we created this account. After writing down the seed phrase, we can specify that this is a Polkadot Relay Chain account and click next. Here we can choose a name for this account and we can choose a password. The password can be a new one or can be the old one that we used. And then we can add the account with the supplied seed. If we refresh the Polkadot.js user interface, we will now see that the injected account is back again. Another way of restoring the account is to use the JSON backup file. We go to the browser extension and we click that we want to add an account using the JSON backup file. So we want to restore this account from a backup file. What we need to do now is to drag and drop the JSON backup file in here. Then we need to insert the password that we used when we downloaded this file. After inserting the password, we could click on restore. We can see that now the account has been restored and if we go on the Polkadot.js user interface and we refresh, we can see the account is present again on the accounts list. I would like to remind you that the browser extension is the preferred way when dealing with accounts on the Polkadot network. It's a secure option and it allows you to keep the account even if you remove the data of your browser. I hope you learned something today and I see you in another video.